it, we we are it's pr- pressing to the point where we really do need a team of people because it's yeah. like it's like doing I feel like a circus act on like a unicycle juggling yeah. while doing a podcast you know yeah, that, yeah but then but then no one finds that impressive it's not like part of the act <laughs> yeah no one's like oh my god it's almost pr- it's the producing. ability to see the act really <laughs> it's just standing outside from the curtain yeah. is what you're doing because the circus act all the is like it's so impressive he's doing all those things at once but yeah. here no one thinks like that they just yeah. want the stuff well most of it most of the time anyway who cares but you bit- you missed an unbelievable conversation about elephants in Botswana it was actually really it was a really good section it always is <laughs> whenever we lose it it's always kind of the best stuff the and lost files well no because the reason the best stuff gets lost is because we're in a flow so we neither of us are looking yeah and then we kind of come to and then like everything's off yeah everything's gone but um, oh well who cares that's just 13 was- minutes of the best podcasting that no one will ever see <laughs> we might, we'll put it on Patreon yeah I we'll think put it on put Patreon it, if you want to hear about Botswana and elephants but only with one mic yeah. <laughs> so if you want to hear you can see about it. Botswana and elephants with Andrew implied and me sort of sounding like I'm really far away, that's probably what most people <laughs> probably, want. It probably is. Yeah, they probably yeah. want to sound like I'm yeah, like, like I'm like down the road, <laughs> <laughs> shouting. What shouting. was that? Uh, oh dear. Um, but Easter, it was the Lord's Day, it was the Lord's weekend. Did you feel imbued with the Holy Spirit of the hey, Lord? Hey, hey, you know me. Yeah. Um, the light, the Lord has always shined a light upon me. He has. Uh, so He's therefore, shone Easter doesn't mean fucking wank to me. Me because I've got every <laughs> fucking day that Jesus Christ, our Savior right. and, and Lord, is going. Like he, he looks at me, uh, he shines upon me when you know when a, when the Lord shines upon you every day. Who gives a, who gives a shit about when on on Easter? <laughs> so he's saying he's saying because the Lord shines upon you so regularly and so thusly. Are you saying that Easter doesn't mean wank to you because it's just like every other day? Too fucking right. That's what <laughs> it's I'm a saying. bit of a busman's holiday Easter for you. Yeah. If you want to <laughs> use busman's holiday every episode of this podcast, sure. Then it is. It's more like you know if you uh, if it ain't. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. What's the better idiom of like if you you know if you play tennis every day, yeah. you don't love tennis that much. Yeah, it's not an idiom, but it's one I've just come up with. <laughs> it's, a, it's a proverb. If you play tennis every day, you're not going to love tennis that much every day, are you? And it shall be done. And it shall oh, be said and so. Man. Write that into stone. <laughs> Write it into stone. Christ is horny. Christ, Christ is hard. hard. Christ, Christ is will risen. come again. Ring, ring, ring. Um, but no, at Easter, you know, it was it was my sister's thirtieth birthday, so that kind of super. She has the same birthday as Jesus. No, that's Christmas. Ignore yeah. me. Carry on. But even that's not true. Is Thusly, it? no. Thusly, and it no, shall it, be done. That's, that's a, no. What's, e- it's what's a tourist what's trap? Easter, the ratio. Come on. Is when is when cri- when they looked then where's the fucking cri- where the fuck's he gone? Where's this fucking? Jesus? He was risen. When yeah, Christ, yeah. Sorry. Where Christ? But when they're like, where the bloody? Risen. Let's go bloody look at Christ. Bloody. What the fuck? That was it. Yeah, they yeah. opened the tomb yeah. and they were like, Shin- ah, shouldn't massive. he be there? Yeah. Why did they open the tomb? Um, because Why were they checking on Christ? We, you got to know this. Was it more to like repurpose his body? Was it more to ch- repurpose the tomb? I was like, he's only been there for a few months. He was like, ah, we got more bodies here. Chuck and him then in. It, was a, it was implied that it was a very heavy rock guarding the entrance. So, well, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, well, if it wasn't. Yeah. Well, actually, well, that's just an, that's like a. a that's kind just of, how much he was risen. That's like a, a side miracle, yeah. like a dollop of peas on an yeah. already bountiful steak and chips yeah. meal. Because it's like, even if he was to have risen, yeah, and he was alive, yeah, then you know how how's how's that fucker getting out, out of that tomb with yeah. that big old rock? It's a it's a it's a David Blaine. It's a what's his name? Who's the one? Fucking who's sticking shit in his arms all the time? Who's the big one? David is it, Blaine. Is that David Blaine? David Blaine. Is it? Yeah, it's not. Well, there's Dynamo. Yeah. David Blaine. <laughs> so and... Jesus is Dynamo. You're thinking of Dynamo? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, but yeah, I, yeah. I like that. But he's yeah, David basically... Blaine. <laughs> he's the one who's like Dynamo. coughing up cars. My name's Jesus Christ. I am risen. <laughs> no, David. <laughs> yeah, the worst. I lo- I'd love to see like. Christ do miracles, but with like loads of like black, black Americans losing their minds. <laughs> like, oh shit! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! He is the law. <laughs> yeah, it's quite five thousand fish and bread, you know. Um, but yeah, he's risen. I didn't. Did you feel it. imbued by, by religious religiosity? <laughs> no, I didn't. Do you, Do you ever Do you ever um, miss any of the religious services we used to have at school? Easter. Easter. No. 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 Easter isn't what's you know what's the difference between Easter and the Harvest Festival? What? Not, not the Harvest enough. Festival. Not, not Who's enough. celebrating that? Is that who did that? At school? Yeah, we did that at school. No, you bring in canned goods yeah, yes, yeah, for the yeah. local community yeah. because Deborah's not got any beans left. I don't think that the Harvest Festival has long 
I don't think it's going to have a lot of staying power from here. No, on. It, it, it feels. It does. Do you the think the Harvest Festival is actually? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the kids are celebrating. I'm not immediately the har- going back at what I. Thought. <laughs> I don't think the kids are celebrating they the are. Harvest Festival. I don't know if they've made it popularised for the youth. When you say the kids, they're not. They're not celebrating it in bars down in the city <laughs> centre. But they are. There's like. There's like hay stuff that happens. You know hay stuff. Yeah, You're familiar like, with hay things. Easter, they rebranded. They got bunnies. They got uh, chocolate. Yeah. The big two. The big know? two. Bunnies and, and the chocolate. Harvest Festival. I don't see them doing it, making anything. That sort of bring, no, because the brings harvest, people in. Well, the Harvest Festival is more about giving back to your community rather than giving back to, I don't know, your fam, individual family. Okay, members. so it's more of a community thing. It's, yeah, you, you, yeah, you give beans to people who don't have beans. <laughs> Was that was that was that what it was? Yeah, about? you bring in can you bring in non perishable Oh, and then goods. we give them to people who are beanless. Who are who are beanless? <laughs> the the, 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 bean, the, the bean the bean laid, the, bean. the bean laid and give to the beanless. Bean <laughs> yeah, and it's we, like and, and it shall be done. You know, <laughs> lay them it's with actually beans. one of the you know it's actually one of the better <laughs> holidays. Yeah. It's actually one of the ones that actually does some sort of community action. It's not rather than just singer. spaffing all your <laughs> shit on chocolate and then giving it to your fucking spoiled <laughs> children. What about the people who don't have any beans? What about the beanless? <laughs> Michael down the road, he's not got any beans left. And you're out here buying eggs made of chocolate. What about That's Michael? What... He's got no beans. Christ believed a lot in the beanless. He was he... obsessed with the beanless. Right. And yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. Because actually, bean yeah. is a synonym for money as well. Yeah, it's true. Bean counter. Bean counter. Yeah, that's Beans. your dad's a bean counter. My dad is not a fucking bean <laughs> he counter. Is, pal. He is. Why is he a bean counter? Isn't that an accountant? Dad's not an accountant. Is he not? No. Do you know what your dad does? Yeah. What does he do? You sound like no, you're, you you're, you're someone that doesn't know what my dad does. I'm saying he doesn't do that, and you're going. But do you know? As if you know, and I well, don't. Do, know. Well, do you know what he does? Yeah, he's a he's a tax advisor. He ta- uh, 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 if you mm. well, that sounds like a fucking bean uh, counter. Many different ideas. Counter. <laughs> Look, I, I, I never said he wasn't a bean counter, but he's not an accountant. You screamed at me, my dad's not a bean counter. <laughs> That's fair. It's an unfortunate time for you guys to just rewind briefly. I never said yeah, yeah, yeah. your dad's not a bean counter. My dad's not! <laughs> I think I then asked what a bean counter yes, is. Yeah. Because I know I, I I can see that he's a bean counter. He's not an, he's not an accountant. Is he sort of... An accountant, instead, he's more he of a... He helps businesses avoid he invite, tax. He inv- oh, he... That's basically what he does. Is he the, it's like a tax expert. A tax expert. A tax expert. Tax expert. Okay. Well, he helped me with my taxes, but that's not what an accountant... What does an accountant do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you raising your voice to me, pal? Sorry. Let's call it... I don't want to talk Let, about let's, co- let's call let, the whole let's, thing let's, let's bring it back in. Like, accountants just manage your money. Yeah. I think um, it's as simple as that. We are talking about the Harvest Festival. We are talking about the bean laden and the beanless. Yeah. Um, what, uh, how was your, how was your Easter? How was your week? We didn't do anything on Easter. We had, no. th- we did, I, I, I went to, it was like Melissa's, my sister's 30th birthday. So we had a thing for her on the night and then we didn't do anything for Easter. I traveled back to London from, for mm. Easter. That's what I did. What did yeah. you do? Um, had lamb with that the family. That seems to be an Easter tradition, yeah. lamb. I have lamb every Easter. What are your thoughts on lamb? Uh, lamb, I, my, my mom has a, a magic way with lamb. I've always said this, but if it was in the rankings of meat, it probably wouldn't be in the top three. Thoughts on people that say their favourite meat is lamb? Suspicious. Suspicious, yeah. precisely. It's a very rich meat. It's a it luxury is. meat. You know, it's a special yeah. occasion meat. It's yeah. really, it's not an everyday meat. You know? No, it's not. You it can't sh- have lamb every day. It should. I, I agree. But I do like the, the flavour, but it's, Me a, too. it's a bit like Whoa Daddy. Me you know? too. Like chicken, he's there for you every single day. True. And it could be and it yeah. could be dressed up to be something different as yeah. well. Because chicken is just, it's got your back. It's, it's like, versatile. It's, yeah, it's, it's versatile. One, you marry chicken, yeah. you have an affair with lamb. Yeah. James Milner's chicken, you can put him in multiple positions. And yeah, the yeah, lamb yeah. is sort of meso- The beast like your dad. It's... Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Pork is <laughs> your, your cousin. Very clearly. <laughs> Yeah, let's keep stretching it. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Bacon is your nephew. Okay, yeah. Uh, ground oh, ground beef is your grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I think that's it. That's I the whole family. Whole really. we, we, I like Easter a lot because I feel it doesn't have the pressure of Christmas. And then you kind of get... We, we seem to do... I like the Easter's we have because we seem to do all the things without any of the pressure of Christmas. It's kind of a smaller group. You know, yeah. you go out, you see, but you don't go for an Easter walk where you, you, no. 
you marvel at uh, nature rebirthing. You no. see the, you know, it's lambing season, so the lambs are out in, in well, force. Well, that's why. You, you see fucking... daffodils and stuff, and yeah. then you have a feeling of rebirth and re- being reborn. Do you not have that sort of... No, I don't. I, get, I, don't, I think I, I keep trying to say that I, I, have, I didn't celebrate Easter. I travelled back to London. Do you have a bit of chockey? Yeah, I had a bit of chocolate. Yeah, of course you did. You yeah, did celebrate I had a Easter. Bit of you did celebrate hey, Easter. Hey, no, Jenny, Catherine, my stepmom gave us both an Easter egg each mm-hmm. as we left the house. That was our Easter celebration. And how? how and guess d- what it was? What? It was chocolate orange. There is something. That's bold. There's something in my family yeah. that make like there's wrong with them. Yeah. they've got something. I've said this for years. Fucked up in their yeah. minds yeah. that makes them just like one step away from yeah. a rabies infested rabbit. They seem like they're lobotomized when you speak to them. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of slack jaw <laughs> dribbling. It feels like uh, someone's sucked their brain out through a straw. So they have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So my blood relatives have this thing yeah. where they just and and um, uh, Melissa's favorite thing is lamb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Red flag. Suspicious. Yeah. And then now and then dad, but both of them have almost bonded. One of their main interests. They're Siamese twins together. <laughs> well, dad and dad and my sister. It's yeah, weird. Really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even. It's too ridiculous to even go into. Um, well, no, one of their big things, it's like, a, it's, they talk about it as if it's a hobby. What, like, liking lamb? Liking chocolate orange. Oh, I see. It's yeah. like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, bit of chocolate, oh, oh, chocolate orange, oh, yeah. oh, Melissa's birthday cake was chocolate orange. Okay. I, Catherine comes yeah. in with an Easter egg yeah. and I go, oh, I'll have the twirl one if that's all right. I turn the box around, oh. it's chocolate orange. Well, chocolate orange is fucking whack. It's fine. I'll I'll have the yeah. twirl, but I'm not. Why? I would prefer my chocolate without orange. I prefer my chocolate without nuts. I know that's not, different, but it's the same. And not to psychoanalyze your family, which I hate to do, but do you not think that maybe hate you love to do this? This is what <laughs> you, you not get think off on. that maybe your dad, your father, Bill, Billiam Kerwin, um, and your sister, yeah. right? Do you not think that maybe them constantly talking about chocolate orange is not about their love of chocolate orange? Maybe What's it? About, what is well, love maybe of? it's about. It's not, that's just, by the by, it's actually about celebrating their love for each other in a relationship. And maybe, <coughs> maybe Billy and Kerwin, when he gives you a chocolate orange, maybe that's extending a hand. And you... Well, it, I, don't, I don't like it, do I? <laughs> well, you're, you, maybe you should pretend to like it. Maybe this is him offering out something. So you think you Melissa know, hates... dancing in the kitchen saying, Ooh, we love Terry's chocolate, chocolate orange. <laughs> it looks like an orange in itself, but it's chocolate, but, but it tastes like orange. It's nothing about the chocolate orange. Yeah, well, they can all... It's f- about bonding. It's about community. Okay. It's about love. Well, so why it's does... About it's, it's about Christ. It's about... It's <laughs> about Easter, oh, is it? Oh, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> so what? <laughs> right, so I should go in and join in. I should yeah. paint. I should go in and paint. Oh, Chocolate yeah. orange. It's the best thing ever. Like. I like lamb too. What's yeah. wrong with? Yeah, Melissa doesn't like any of that shit. Yeah, she's just doing it to make Billiam happy. Do you reckon? Yeah, it's yeah. just dad's thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you had a you had chocolate on the tube. I had chocolate. I didn't eat on the fucking tube. <laughs> Stop putting chocolate in my mouth. And it wasn't at the but specific time. But this wasn't time. your only um, guess away. This yeah. week you also. I've been to a cabin. Yeah. I went to a cabin. So this is your, you're taking a, a month off work. Yeah. Right? I get uh, it. For I get mental it. health reasons. For mental health. It's all gone a bit weird. Uh, no, I get it. <laughs> um, I get a sabbatical everywhere yeah. because I've been at my job for four years and yeah. they give you a sabbatical. So sabbaticals very nice. comes from, isn't that, was that the first time it was used was about, about t- uh, professors, right? I don't know. Probably sabbatical. The Greek, idea is, it? yeah, it's like a sabbatical is when a professor who's been like studied for seven years at the uni, he gets a year to go off and write a book, right? Potentially, yeah. yeah. Right, go on, <laughs> finish off that one. <laughs> finish it off. No, so you got a sabbatical and it's to work on. Finish it off. <laughs> finish it no, off. I'm asking. You know I got one, and it's your fault when I'm doing anything. Oh, the cheek of you, good sir. So I got one and went to a cabin in the woods near Hastings. Is that what you no, want me to say? Is that what you want me to say? Yeah. And now I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 downstairs. Because I need a break. I need a break. I'm allowed a break. <laughs> so I went to a cabin in the woods with my yeah. girlfriend. It wasn't just yeah. me. It was very nice. It was near Hastings. But it wasn't in Hastings. It was in a town called Robertsbridge. Okay. Shout out to Robertsbridge. Yeah, I'll um, be. In it was uh, it, it was a, immediately you got there and it was, you know, when you go to places where you feel like people don't actually grow up there and how it's because we grow up in, uh, I mean, Lewis as well is a town where mm-hmm. it's, 
it's close enough to it's a, although it's a village it's close enough to a city to not feel like you're a million miles away from civilization okay this is like the closest thing they have is a castle from 1066 so what do you mean people don't grow up there it's it's always strange to me that like children actually grow up there because it feels like a it fantasy. It feels like so desolate, and it yeah. feels like you should only really go there to die. die. <laughs> okay, yeah. if I'm honest, yeah, I do know. Exactly so we walk mean. out, and there's like four kids d- joyfully playing with a tire, just pushing that tire yeah, on the it's road. Still the 1800s. Like, oh my god, the thing rolls! <laughs> Look at it go down the hill, but it doesn't go up the hill unless we push it. They were having a great time. Immediately, yeah. settles like, oh, I, I immediately felt I was in um, this country. Yeah. So that was kind of, by the way, it's near Hastings. So on the on the journey to Hastings, on the bus, it's, um, every every bus was 1066. That's a bit Every bus? Not every bus, because yeah, that, really would, that would mean it. the whole route thing would yeah. be a disaster. Yeah. But they are, well, they're really clinging onto it. Yeah. It's been a it's long like, time. get over it. Can Fuck you do up. something else? Yeah. 1066. Have another battle. But, so the town, it's one of those towns as well that, Whenever I go to these places, I wonder if you have this as well. Yeah. I think when you're going more into... I think a lot of people have it going home and when yeah. you're living in London, going home. There's this ridiculous notion that you think that everyone immediately knows that you're from London. Yeah. Like you walk around and it's like, yeah. wow. Yeah. They're, they're, and you think, you don't know whether they hate or, lo- or love you for it, <laughs> but they're, I, they, like they are you're thinking wearing, about you. <laughs> they are thinking about you. Everyone knows who you are yeah. and they, every, you've got a sign around you going, I'm from London or I'm different. Yeah. Well, you feel like an elf going back to the Shire. Not back to. No, that doesn't work. That, none of that made sense. <laughs> Not a single bit of that made sense. A hobbit going back to the Shire? Yeah, but then you'd have to be... You'd have to have done... Yeah. Well, we could be Bilbo. You're, yeah. Or Frodo. Take your pick. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Samwise. <laughs> there's another one. Yeah, I guess so. But he was sort of... You know, he fit in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just, I just, just rewatched right. the Lord of the Rings films, so I'm, I'm going to drop into some... Um, Are they, do they hold up? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. God, yeah. I've had Probably the most. I've, more than... More than most. I think they'll hold up the best out of... All the franchises, probably. Yeah. Anyway, have you heard someone chatting shit about Lord of the Rings on rewatch? Just I've heard murmurs. Really? Yeah, I can't remember from who, but someone, someone's, mm, someone's spreading. Someone's getting in my the ear. The Dark Lord. Yeah. Is, is evil is spreading. <laughs> the Dark Lord. Oh, it's some sour. Um, yeah. But uh, what? What you're talking about is the feeling that everyone knows. Oh you're yeah. From London. There's, there's like yeah. you've got a big London stamp on you, like you come from. Yeah. It. And you think in it's fairness, all in your head. Yeah. Yeah. In fairness. I fe- this town felt like hot fuzz, but no one liked each other. Okay. So it it felt like there was nothing to preserve. Community so gone wrong. Yeah, because yeah. there was there was there was a few people because there was like one nice pub when we went there, and then everyone obviously knows each other within there. Yeah. And then it is clear that you're not from here. Yeah. That's true. Were you how cunty were you dressing? Very not, when, I, when I say, when I say cunty, I left I just the car, mean like I left the cardigan at London-y. home. <laughs> I left the cardigan at home. <laughs> I was wearing the kind of fat trousers. They weren't yeah. that fat, but sure. they were they were slightly fat. Yeah. But it was I dressed to be a country bumpkin for a yeah. bit. Super dry on the rack. Super dry. <laughs> <laughs> Rectangle yeah. glasses. Yeah, yeah. Stussy cap. Um, but no fear rucksack. <laughs> yeah, God. This is, well, don't, we're not describing London. We're describing something horrible. Um, but yeah, I always find that. So there was a, a fun in, engagement with the, with the locals, I suppose. Yeah. Nothing crazy. But we were staying in someone's garden. Yeah. It was one of those ones, which I wouldn't immediately want to do. Do you know what I mean? You want to stay in someone's garden? No, but how big is the garden? That's I the, guess like, he's, he's he asked with the, the right question. The land ownership kind of situation we have in this country. You like, wouldn't want to stay in our garden, would you? Well, a lot of a lot of times you're like, this is nice. It's actually some lord's garden, but you wouldn't know. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. So it wasn't that big. <laughs> okay. It wasn't like wow. When you don't realise it's a garden, yeah, and you just think it's, it's actually a field. Lord Rothermere's garden. You're yeah, right. yeah. Well, Rothermere. <laughs> I thought he lost all of his bank holdings in the crisis <laughs> no. of '84. No. Um, no, there was. Um, it was it was sizable, but we had so the. Privacy, fine, because there was like there was a fence. But how uh, big's the garden? I, I, I'm a, I'm a tell you. Okay. Um, you walk in. The problem was to get to the place where yeah. you were staying. You have to open the gate and walk down the driveway of the house that you're there for. There from. Uh, so there was like you know I saw them kind of in yeah. the window and I was trying to be like not looking in the window. It's just because a bit you personal. Wanna... Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is that they had to change the urine tank halfway through. So they had to carry your hot piss around. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we had to. It's, it was a, it was a little bit hippy dippy. Yeah, it was um, biological toilets, waterless toilets. One of those situations. Yeah, you're not wiping your bum. <laughs> you are sorry. You're not. I am. You're not. You never do. <laughs> that was a side note. You're not wiping your bum anyway. Um, no, you're not. You're not flushing. You're just chucking some straw on your poop. 
so it smells a bit like a festival toilet in there. Okay. Keep that window open would be my advice. Yeah. But at the end of the day, actually, I was pleasantly surprised by everything. Fine. Because I, I went in there, I was like, this is going to be shit. It's going to smell of shit. And I'm going to have to take it out at the end. Because part of it was they said, can you, can you yeah. get it out at the end? Yeah. yeah. It was okay. Yeah? It was, it was just like, you know, you know how I can hold your nose like that. If, you're, if I'm taking out something quite stinky, yeah. I'll have, I'll, you do that and then you just go like that and then you can't So you have smell. to sort of sound like a nerd whenever you take a shit? <laughs> no. What? No, whenever you take the bin bag out. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm just saying. You can talk like this when you're having a shit. <laughs> yeah. And when you take the bin bag out, you've got to do you can't that. You like this. Just it's blocking the odours from yeah. going into your, your yeah. nose. Maybe that's why people speak like this are doing that. Yeah. Maybe it's just because they don't like you're saying You're saying toilet, biological toilet men yeah. are, are all Well, I'm nerd. just saying nerds, maybe they're, they're, they're onto something. Maybe they just, maybe they're like this all the time because because they, they're constantly they, taking out waterless toilet or just everything bags. smells like shit. But they, they doesn't. So oh, they're, no, not, it, it they're not onto something. It they're not onto something. <laughs> so that was, you know, it's not ideal. It's a it's, it's a loosely romantic getaway. It's you know, let's go in, let's go in. You carrying a bag of shit, going, and then it's like, this uh, is romantic. can you take our poo, please? <laughs> <laughs> Our wee tank's full. It's full. Well, Did you ever with... shout, I'm finished? <laughs> Why? I'm finished. Why would I shout that? Because that's when they could come and take the yeah <laughs> the, well, the poop bag out. Well, there was many ways. <laughs> <laughs> I did think for a bit because there's in there, it was like, if, if you're staying for more than two days, it's likely we're going to have to change the urine tank. She yep. was like, just give us a message and we'll come and do it. Yep. So there's many ways you could say that. Yep. One of them being, I'm finished. <laughs> wee wee all full full. <laughs> Uh, uh, all pissed out, nowhere to go. Um, um, we town population full. Yeah. Um, we've used all of our wee space. That's good. No That's more wee note. space. Uh, yes. Hi there. Um, no more wee space. Uh, please sort. So it was kind of humiliating having her come down and like take away our urine. It, it feels like you're kind of having this rebirth with holidays because you you hit a, a moment of realization when you're like i'm not enjoying holidays <laughs> yeah and now you're re-approaching them with what do i enjoy about holidays sure. like you're going on that kayak holiday yeah this one i assume that you suggested it was, it was kind was of, it, this one was oddly my idea yeah, yeah yeah and so you want something that makes you feel more active right active oh, that was we didn't do anything no other than like taking our own shit out was <laughs> wasn't a regular activity yeah. it was potentially the only one no yeah. it was a very it was I wanted a relaxed get away from the city yeah. kind of but like a, but you uh, don't want to have to get on planes or oh, no get you fucking yeah. sit out yeah <laughs> what language is that no. <laughs> this, is you, or this something. is you saying that to a Spanish we're... person at the... yeah you fucking <laughs> go um, no I wanted a quick getaway yeah that wasn't going to break the bank yeah. and that was kind of stress free hassle okay. free would fun. you do it again? Yeah. yeah. No, well, so I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it. Out in the woods, nice, tranquil vibes. A pub Are near. you a camper revive? Do you have that? I do could you do. have that? You've yeah. got it in your yeah. lockers. Uh, later, Andrew, in the morning, could be. Read all day. That's kind of it. Okay. And then cook. How much Were you drinking hard? No, not as no. hard as usual. No. We do, but obviously a couple of nights, you know, yeah. we got on the apple sauce. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Is that ciders? I don't know. It's whatever you want, like apple apple tizers, apple teenies. Um, but no, it was tranquil, and I wanted the but the big thing that I wanted was to come back more relaxed than I was, which never happens. Yeah. You never go on a holiday and come back more that relaxed. That is the problem. It's a fucking you need another shite. holiday straight after. Exactly. Yeah, because it never works. Because you're either traveling around doing loads of shit, and then you're just your yeah. body's knackered, or you're going and you're relaxing, you're drinking a lot, and then your your, your liver's knackered. Almost, but then I came back relaxed, and then yeah. I drank shit loads for for two days in a row at Melissa's birthday thing so that I've come God back damn it. I'm dead again <laughs> I can't see I'm so yeah. tired but that's why I'm doing nothing this week well maybe we should try and get a holiday that works maybe you could if we could find a way of you relaxing maybe in like Mile End Park for a week because <laughs> that's a, a very that's right there yeah, yeah and that's a very Do short I, journey well, I have to you're just asking me to be homeless you, you can't <laughs> What well, you'd you come mean? back nice and refreshed. Yeah, you know? I don't think I would. <laughs> I'm still going to enjoy the content of the holiday, yeah. which is not me going to be in Mile End Park. Okay, I mean, I, I'm just trying to come up with some ideas. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, it was just the gap from there to there was yeah. the problem. But then I did have, so, but then in this town, yeah. I, I came back, wait, when I came back from the town, yeah. I went for my sister's birthday, 
I was stood outside. We had, we were out the house for a little bit at this dive bar, which is where my family often f- frequents. My extended family, not yep. my close family. Um, and it's like you know, it's proper Hayward Heath. It's where I'm from, yeah. Which is Hayward Heath. Yeah. <laughs> and I went outside for a cigarette, and I looked around, and it was the first time. You know, when you've you've lived somewhere forever, yeah, that you forget what it it looks like you don't yeah. or you've never really seen yeah, it yeah. and i looked around i was like this is the worst place on earth <laughs> <laughs> i was like this is the ugliest this is the ugliest thing i've ever seen <laughs> it's just it's so ugly <laughs> Like the actual town bit is none of the buildings are clean. All of them are like off white. I don't know what level of architecture they are, the, but it's just this mismatch of like weird offices, strange flats, odd businesses. There's so many yeah. pet related yeah, businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every cafe yeah. lets your dog come in, <laughs> yeah. but then it's just this like weird shit town. <laughs> <laughs> it just yeah. looks. Awful. I mean, you're completely right. I mean, I yeah. And I walked in. Because I didn't in. grow up there. I I I spotted that immediately. But I guess it, this was like a moment of you. Yeah, yeah. I, I just remember looking around, going like, "Fuck <laughs> me!" Has it always looked this? This is all. But you're so used to everything. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna get my face. But I well, there was the last time. Well, last time I went there. No, I went back in to tell L this realization. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I know. Because to be fair to her, because like she didn't even grow up in Sussex. So yeah. she came in. I was like, the first time I was like, this is it. I was born here. And it's like this, you know, puddle, mm. this kind of bin puddle. This is where I did it. This is where I did this. It's more about the stories where yeah. I wasn't thinking about the framing uh-huh. of the stories being in this kind of shithole. Mm. But she was like, yeah, no, you're, you're, you're white trash. Have yeah. you not realised that? And I was like, no, I didn't realise that. You realize didn't realise that, 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 yeah. I was white trash. But I, I was like, oh, okay. Because then <laughs> I looked around and I've yeah. I've always known, you know, the people in Hayward City. It's, it's up and down. It's also quite a middle class place. Yeah. So it's in between the two. But then I was like... It's middle England. Yeah. yeah. But then I was in this pub and like looking around. And then I was like, this like this is where the white trash is. And I was like, this is this is my family. Yeah. This is where, the, this is where, where half of the family comes and from. And you've got Irish a white half. trash, you know... It's in you. You're not white trash, but you. Oh God, it, yeah. it, It's soulfully in you. You know. Yeah. There's you're a lot you're of... never more comfortable than a Hollywood bowl. Like that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that yeah, you know, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, that's unfair. That's, un- that's unfair. Below the belt. That was below the belt. That's that's because I'm good at bowling. <laughs> I am comfortable in a Hollywood with bowl, yes. I what well, that's fair. That's fair. More like i I'm very comfortable in like an industrial park that includes a yes. Hollywood bowl, a Cine <laughs> yeah. World, a Frankie and Benny's, a Pizza Hut. Uh yeah. that's kind You're of the playing main at home, ones. you know. Yeah, there's often like a little pup pup mini golf course. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes inexplicably there's trampolines. Yeah. Yeah. Remember those trampolines? Yeah. Um that's that's I feel fine in. Because yeah. those were my birthday parties growing up. Mm. Like let's, but why wouldn't you want to go and see Finding Nemo and then do the Pizza Hut buffet? I still want to do that now. Well, we used to have a big argument about Hassocks when we were like twelve, maybe thirteen. When, I, which in retrospect was, my mum got really angry with me for doing it. You know, she's trying to, right, she's trying to, she's trying to wrestle the snobbery out of me. But yeah. I thought it was funny while we were going, <laughs> and you really didn't like it. I think for some reason, I think Tom Doughty was in the car for one of them. For some reason, we're getting dropped off. Yeah. picked up to Sunday sure. and we're going through Hassocks and I think yeah. you'd be you kept talking about how great Hassocks was right Hassocks and, is a bit better yeah, than yeah. Hayward Heath but and I on. think it was Hassocks it wasn't Hayward Heath but I was looking out the window just talking about how shit it was alright and I was oh, playing yeah, yeah. up to Tom but I was just going so hard in and everything yeah, yeah, saying yeah. all these things and I was 13 years old and mum had a real go at me saying you can't because you can't yeah because you can't you would so so what do you think about Hassocks then Hassocks no, oh, you, you haven't is... had this realization about Hassocks. No, because <laughs> hey, gonna... no. you're five ah! years time. <laughs> Hassocks is a small enough village to have some quaint charm to sure. it. Hayward Heath is like right in the middle. It's like the biggest town in between Brighton and London. Yeah. Uh, if you go one way, I don't want someone yeah. from fucking. I don't know. You just don't enough to even. Make I don't that. know enough about geography <laughs> at all. It could have been great. It could have been quick, and we could have moved on. But no, well, Crawley, uh, Crawley, yeah, Cr- Crawley, sure. Yeah. Other than Crawley, they're yeah. all, but they're, it's very close to Crawley, isn't it? But yeah, Crawley's shit as well, isn't it? But that's like traditionally known to be shit. So Where Sean is- McLaughlin had the joke about Hayward Heath. Do you remember this joke? No, he. Uh, you probably haven't seen it, but it was because he's from Brighton, and he said that Hayward Heath is like a train station. Yeah, and then 
a replacement bus service didn't turn up and they just built a town. That's how it feels. <laughs> they would yeah. it feels like they were waiting. No, it for, does. It was just a train station and the bus didn't turn up and they just built a town. It does. <laughs> it does. But yeah. So I, I think it's... Hassex is different because it's smaller. Yeah. It's got more vibrancy yeah. to it because it's smaller. It's more like a quaint... You're you're closer to the you yeah. know when we are all farming mm. for for cattle yeah and you know like troweling for things and you'd have the it's closer to trowel era yeah you'd yeah. have the butcher mm. you'd have the blacksmith you'd have the barber you'd have the that. cobbler yeah. that's the cobbler that's mm. kind of what you have in Essex which is why I like it and yeah. there's actually just more greenery around yes it is. it's, it's a very smaller green area. yeah it's smaller the the problem I really realize with is with the buildings they're quite big and now, it's quite a big town. As much as I find this topic incredibly yeah, let's, I was I'm just, just wondering, we do have quite a few international listeners and we, we push the envelope quite a bit. We're talking about uh, specific British stuff, British celebrities. But I feel <laughs> deeply describing two small yeah, villages. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had that realise when you when you asked me about... No, because with, with Harry Teeth about realising... Our German a, listeners going to be like, what the uh, what, is that? <laughs> what is this? What is this? The town. And, um, no, it's fair... That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Um, because with you know, with Hayward Teeth being, you know, the town when you were born and realising that it's a shithole, there's yeah. so, a lot of people can find something in that. Yeah. When we're just going like, what's better, Hayward Teeth or Hassix? We need to jump. <laughs> I um, I started watching, um, fuck, what's it What's it even called? The the thing about Dan Schneider. I've forgotten the name every single time. Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider documentary. It's called Quiet On Set. All right, so I've, I've streamed this. So it's only in an America, right? right. Um, so I've streamed it. I don't know if it'll come to the UK, but it's on HBO Max. Um, yeah, I'm not gagging for it. No, and it's a four part uh, documentary series. And immediately you can understand. I mean, they all follow the same rhythm, these documentaries, right? Yeah, it's just milking. But, is it but, on HBO? Yeah. Yeah, and it's a four part. And the problem is. But is explain what it is. Basically, just it's, a, it's one of those kind of uh, uncoverings of abuse by uh, a man in the industry. But that man and is Dan Schneider. But right? when Horatio told me before we started yeah. that it was a four part series, yeah. I was infu- incensed because I just think that can be distilled into almost like a press release yeah. or a news article. It could be. Yeah. Saying, they all can. This is what he did. But all of these sort of like. Um, kind of awful things about abuse in industry. They all just follow... They, they need someone to shake up that genre. They need to t- find a different way of telling the story. The investigative it's, it's just genre. so... Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah. like, it's all by the numbers and it's just... They build tension the exact same way. We're on the first episode, right? So it's about Nickelodeon. Oh, you're doing it with your with your girlfriend, yeah. Yes. It's definitely a me. It's a girlfriend. It's a his and her watch. <laughs> it is, yeah. you know. Well, she was a child actor, so I guess she and she read the book by Jeanette McCurdy from Oh yeah. I, yeah. Carly, I think yeah. it's called I, I Hate Car- My Mother. I Carly. That's it's what, along the lines of that. No, that's what her book's called. Yeah, um, it's along the lines of that. And she's so she's obsessed with her and that whole side of it. Um, so it, it seems like a lot of shit went wrong. I mean, it is quite a. It destroys a lot of innocence because I really was a Nickelodeon kid above all other channels. What was it? Was you, you I, a Nickelodeon I or a Disney? I, kid, I, yeah, you? Disney had a couple of things, but Nickelodeon Recess. was like you know Drake and Josh, SpongeBob SquarePants, those SpongeBob. Drake, <laughs> Drake and Josh SquarePants, <laughs> and that Drake and Josh was a Dan Schneider original. We haven't got to that yet. Avatar um, was Nickelodeon, wasn't it? Yeah. He didn't did Lang, did he? He didn't do. He didn't did Lang. <laughs> <laughs> if Ang started having a talking head about yeah, being yeah, diddled by, but yeah. we're at the point. I haven't heard there has. There's been no stuff about rape allegations yet. We're on the first episode, he's just been. Well, in, yeah, what, so tell so, me what's so, up. So he's been. I'm like, sure many people have heard of this, but I, it was mostly because of Drake Bell. Yeah. So Drake Bell, I know. Something. I mean, we haven't got to the Drake Bell bit either. Right, so okay. we're not even on there. We're on yeah. all these people who I don't really know. Do you know Keenan and Kel? Yes. I didn't know Keenan and Kel. I didn't you know, know Keenan Thompson. Yeah, I know that he's on the guy who's never not never on SNL. Leave SNL. SNL. I didn't know that he was a kid, child star. So that guy's been on set forever. That's fair to not know that. Yeah. But there you go. But Keenan I didn't, Kel, know, I remember. I didn't know that he was like Amanda like Bynes a child set. Kel. Well, Amanda Bynes, that was the yeah. what this episode's been mainly about. But all of the things so far have been he was like a nasty boss who was sexist, right? So and I'm still like and they've teased us with he does bad shit coming up. Yeah. And that a lot of the stuff he directed was quite porny for like the kid shows. So a it'd be bit, like it, a lot it, of like inappropriate. Yeah, well the, yeah. and all like the gunking porny. and stuff. Yeah. Like all it's Was it that just, was it porny? Well the problem is is that they show images of it mm. and it's like, yeah, when you play that music and you play them in a montage <laughs> of like <laughs> it's like a lot basically a lot of it's like cum shot 
style. Jesus Christ. I know. Well, like the Nickelodeon slime. Well, there's the slime, but there's also just... The one where Katy Perry gets absolutely decked. It's really funny. So. But, so there's a slime, but there's also just in episodes, there'll be a lot of those shots. And I guess... But, but then I don't know how much I'm getting manipulated while watching these things. I I'm don't... Like, I don't know what the context was. I might be was. wrong, but that, was, that would have made me laugh as a kid. Having yeah. no idea what a cum shot was. Yeah. Like, ah, he got on his face. Isn't that just a kid's yeah. laugh? Yeah, and so, but then they do that haunting music. Yeah. And then they show like all of them back to back. And it's like, yeah, I guess it does look like that if you show like a montage of... I don't know, I, but I think I, as a child, yeah. that's what I would find funny. Yeah. Having no idea that that's a reference to porn. I'm not sure that's... And so a... they went to Dan Schneider... And also, that... how intimately is he involved in the scripts? He, he's, he's the head is he writer. Writing? He's, okay. the, he's the showrunner. He's the, but so the why would he? Why would he do it? Do what? The gunking? Yeah. So he could sit. Well, we don't know yet. They've, they've left so much open. They've just said it's a bit weird, isn't it? Well, we'll come back to that. I'm not sure um, that is at this yeah. point. But and I, so I they, they set up his life with being like, he was a fat, insecure loser mm. who, who wanted to prove everyone wrong. All right? right. So they really slagged him off <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah, to yeah. begin with. Yeah. And then it was basically about he's really close with all the, the young <coughs> female stars like Amanda Bynes and then all the female writers in his rooms. But they're all he, his... That they he, would all like, he was basically like a mad king who'd run these uh, run the show. Like if anyone disagreed with him, he'd try and fire them and was like, just couldn't take any criticism and stuff like that. I was yeah. like, okay. Right. And that was the end of the episode, pretty much. So I'm, I'm wait, I'm sure so in the other episodes, right. yeah. And I'm just like, I need a bit more. You well, know? yeah, that's a shame because we don't know anything then. No, we don't know, we don't know. So that's, just, I'm just that's. He's definitely, you know, he's, do, he's you done. You can't something. have four parts unless he's diddling. Yeah. Well, no, he did with Drake Bell, wasn't did that? Did he diddle the... Bell? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Well, we'll see. He part of me is like. He better have did all Drake Bell. Yeah. Because otherwise, then, I've just wasted all my time. Yeah. And yeah. it would be so much better. <laughs> <laughs> so much worse, sorry, for you to have wasted four yeah. hours than for Drake Bell to have been raped as a child. Yeah, I get, I get it. It's, 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 I mean, it's an interesting way of looking at these sort of shows. But if, I guess if you have a four-part documentary that's setting up that's about diddling yeah. and there's no diddling, I guess... Yeah. I guess I have been shortchanged, and I guess weirdly I do hope there's some diddling, just yeah. on a on a consumer basis. Retrospective diddling. Yeah, in retrospective, you know, because yeah. you would never wish for it to have happened. No, but if but if a kid's if been it's diddled, been sold, then you wish it to be there. Yeah, it's like the argument of like you know the iPhone's already been made by the you know the Chinese the, the Chinese <laughs> worker, you know. So yeah, what harm is it? Right, is it the child's been diddled? Yeah. Let me watch the documentary. No, <laughs> no. The child, <laughs> it's not as bad as the child. If a child gets diddled it's not in as a bad forest as child and no labor. one's there to watch the documentary. Tree. Has Did anyone been? <laughs> it's not as bad as, no, because the diddling is over. Mm. Thank God. Yeah. So by watching a documentary on it, you can no longer support future diddling. That's true. Whereas well, yeah. buying an iPhone, you can still support future child labor. And I feel if you make a documentary that's sold on diddling and there's no diddling in there, I think that helps diddlers. Why? Because it's more like, Oh, you're gonna make a documentary about me? What like that one where there was no diddling in there? Easy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but then do you know that, what I mean? This is <laughs> that's playing to the that's playing into the diddler's hands because it's the boy who crowd cried diddling. Right. Yeah. What I I still don't see how it plays into their hands. Well, it's just more like it's it's oh every documentary is now just taking the piss, you know, and that then oh, that, that documentarians aren't gonna. So you're suggesting that people will be encouraged to diddle because well, if a like, documentary if came brand because if a out, documentary yeah. came out about them, they're not gonna actually engage with the diddling content. Well, it's more th as consumers, <laughs> as consumers, much like the boy who cried wolf, it'll be like. Well, you, your trailer said implied diddling. I watched, there was no diddling. Right. So next time you have a trailer about a diddling doc and I watch it and there's no diddling, I'm going to be furious. I'm not going to bother watching it. Let's you know? call the whole thing quits. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's why it's a tough, it's a tough moral quandary. Yeah. Um, but it, it does change your view. It's quite a, I don't know, like it, it ruins a certain amount of innocence because you are, it is showing what's happening behind all these shows that was a, probably the most innocent time in your life watching these Nickelodeon shows, you know? Yeah. And so realizing that there was probably diddly behind the scene, that is quite a it's traumatic. Bleak. Yeah, it's bleak. Well, I don't know, because there's just so much behind child acting anyway. Yeah. There's also at the same time Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle, Frankie Muniz. Did going he get on. diddled? No, okay. no, he didn't get diddled, but he's yeah. going on, or he's on Australian who, not who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> You can't married, find married out much of it. Married at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Australian, I'm a celebrity. Okay. He's on there and he's doing all his child story shows. About child uh, child good story. or bad? 
Uh, medium. Yeah. It's not as no one's got good. It's not Didlo, is yeah. it? But it's it's not it's not terrible. But I would recommend watching it. It's it's no no you're not gonna do it. No, I'm sorry. I want. I'm not interested enough. But Dan Schneider, you know that name? Like he was his name. I was, could yeah. yeah. You see it in like a silly Schneider's font. Bakery was like the what like a splat mm, and then Schleiner. Yeah yeah up. yeah. Um yeah no I I do but I'm like I'm not interested enough in the in the people that he diddled. Yeah. To like go he he doesn't. And Amanda Bynes, who... But Amanda Bynes has gone off the... She's gone I, she's I, I on TikTok. Read, I want to read a long news you want a, article. You want a Guardian long I want a Guardian, and I want yeah. everything to be out, and mm. I want justice to be served. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not interested enough Five about the, the four long hour narrative. It was yeah. like, tell me what he did. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. Um, and it's quite interesting, because a lot of the time it's recreating things that they don't have videos for, right? So it'll be like a writer's room. It's a bit bleak, isn't but it? But it's not... The, this is not the diddling. This is one of the female writers saying that uh, she suggested an idea and he said it'd be funny if you told me that idea again but you have to act being sodomized during it. And she said it was really humiliating. Which does sound humiliating, right? But why would he... What, yeah, that's obviously... But why would he say that? Because he's he, just a devil. He's just a devil yeah, he's man. Like a, yeah, he's just a bad man. Well, that's how it's p- presented. They didn't give a reason why. It was was just, it a bad idea or a good idea? Well, um, I think it was more showing the, the work culture that women weren't taken seriously. <laughs> right. So that is a female writer. So the idea was kind of irrelevant. It was just. It was more like, well, if you're going to have an idea, I didn't have anything to do with sodomy, right? No, good. He just. Well, I mean, but one thing I I do say, like we've been in, you know, we we write a lot. We have. (coughs) There's no bad ideas in brainstorming, and sometimes, yeah, maybe you want to, you know, see if something would be funnier that way. Well, mean? maybe it would, would be funny. Well, that's what I'm saying. I forgot what the idea was. If the thing was, so, if the thing was about sodomite. <laughs> well, it was writing for a kid show. Yeah. So you know, not with Dan Schneider. Well, no, because you'd 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 lightly imply it. You'd zoom in. You'd go to a close up on the face, and it would go. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. But when they're talking about these writing room kind of traumatic scenes, yeah. obviously they're taking a lot from true crime, where mm. it would be like they'll show like crime footage of going up the stairs, blood splatters yeah, on yeah. the fridge and stuff. But because it is just a writer's room, yeah. they're just having really slow pans in on like a chair. Yeah. And like <laughs> and a, then like a table. And then like with some paper on there. Yeah. And then but then and because the coffee. story is like that that happens for like eight minutes. It's like <laughs> I, I guess what do yeah. you show? You but it's it's like because it's it's not really <laughs> It's hard to show that it's, but you're you're presenting it like it's a serial killer. Yeah, <laughs> he's like a, he's in a writer's room. Yeah, I don't you know. know. I mean, it doesn't sound good. I'm not a Dan Schneider truther. I want to get that out. You know. Yeah, don't worry, but I don't no. know anything about it. But uh, but sometimes these things seem a bit silly in how yeah. they're presented. Yeah, particularly because how non-silly the content is. Yeah. But yeah, well, tell me when you get to Drake Bell. That's the yeah. only interesting bit. Well, do you know about P Diddy the Diddler? Have you have been following this? I've just got back from a cabin. I've, tr- <laughs> I've really tried well, to avoid... Well, he's been real diddling, but I don't actually know enough about him, sadly. Well, I heard he was a... I don't know. I don't he know. Was, I've um, been off the news. He seemed to be an absolutely crazy uh, diddler, right? Um, it's unfortunate. But since the end of the new... Yeah, it seems like he was... <laughs> yeah, he was diddling everyone left, right and centre. Yeah. Um, was that the thing that's come out about him? Yeah. And like men, women, you name it. He it didn't Andrew matter. Andrew Huberman. Don't know. Don't know. I've you heard that know. name, but yeah, I don't know. Like I that. don't know. You'd know him. He's like very big in the podcast world. He's like that neuroscientist with a massive head who, yeah. who studies brains. Is no he did make that take though? No, he's no, but he's had like five affairs or like five really? different, different wives on the go. Yeah. And he's like he's one of those self helpy podcasts. Yeah. Kind of thing. And he's out, you know, boning. If you're part of my French. Yeah. And I guess if you're a neuroscientist giving advice about how to run your brain, then you, you should be out boinking yeah. different different ladies. Yep. that's what I've always said. Which yes, we need to tell people to join the Patreon actually. Yeah, um, that's true. Because we've got a lot of new people coming in from YouTube Shorts who we've we're trying to transfer onto YouTube trousers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a big that's a big a big time. analytics. We want to try and see like Shorts, shorts for, for trousers. trousers. It's yeah. like. We've got a lot on shorts. Shorts is a holiday. Trousers is your job. We need to get people onto trousers, you know. Yeah. Uh, But if you want even more trouser content, then you got to come on the Patreon. On the Patreon. Every week we do a another bonus episode. Also, my I'm recording my special May second. If you are about, please come along. It'll be fun. Early show eight p.m. Late show ten p.m. at the George Tavern in Whitechapel. Um, You got any closing thoughts? Any closing statements? See ya. Bye. Patreon, join it. See you there. Bye. Bye.